Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar, and today we're gonna to be learning a really cool tune by Harry Styles called Watermelon Sugar. This is a summer hit, I'm sure all of you have heard it. Um, you know, it's one of those top 40 songs that me as a guitar player, I stop and say, thank God somebody's playing the guitar, and hey, that's a cool little riff in there, right? So I thought it would be a cool lesson to teach since there's the cool chord progression, and that, cool little riff in there. That's really what inspired me to teach it. So um, I hope you guys are into this tune. Let's get into it right now. First I'm going to show you the kind of beginner chords way and then I'm going to show you like the more original way with, with bar chords. Okay? So the chords are basically D minor going into A minor going into C major and then going into G major. And that's really what happens throughout the tune, right? Um, what I saw in a lot of the chord progressions and what I think he might be playing some of the time is a D minor seven. Um, but I kind of like the sound of that D minor more. And when I watched them play it live, they were also just playing D minor and A minor rather than A minor seven. So feel free to either play D minor or D minor seven. Okay. Same with A minor. You can play A minor or A minor 7. Pers personal preference, okay? All right, so check it out. It goes like this. The strumming pattern is kind of like this down, sorry, um, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, right? So you're going to want to go for that down, up, down, up, down. And on that last down there, you want to give it a little accent. So down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, and you can variate that. But the, the main thing is this, this first part, this kind of down, up, down, up, down. What you do after that, just kind of go with the flow, but getting that smooth is, is important, okay? So, especially the accent. So, see that? So, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 that's the beginner chord version. If you can't play bar chords, just play it that way. If you want to get that more, that more kind of tight, you know, sound like is happening in the original, and also those muted notes to get them to sound better, I'd play bar chords, okay? If you don't know where these chords are, I highly recommend going and downloading my picture chord book. It's totally for free. 42 pages of picture chords, and it teaches you how to play all of these chords and also move them up and down the neck, okay? So if you don't know these chords, I highly recommend going and downloading that. It's free, the link is up or under me, okay? Above or under me. So D minor, fifth fret. You could think of it as A minor, right? Just slide it over, put that bar chord there. Then it goes into an A minor, right? The C is like F, right? On the 8th fret. And then the G is here on the 3rd fret. Okay. Again, if you don't understand that, I highly recommend getting my book because I teach you how to, you know, do, do make, do, play these chords and create these chords. Do the chords. Okay, so. Okay, so the cool thing that we're going to be doing here now that you can't really do as well with the with the open chords is after that accent thing, that down, up, down, up, down, we're going to release tension and that's going to mute out the string. See that? See that? After I play it, I release. I don't completely leave the strings. I don't abandon them, but I release tension. That mutes them out and that gives it this kind of... Right? It gives you that, that, that sound, that kind of more tight sound, rather than going There's not a lot of dynamics if, if you don't kind of mute out some of the notes, play the notes, mute them, right? We're adding in dynamics, okay? So, da 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 Same here, same here. Same here. 
And I'm also kind of keeping this thing going, even while I'm moving to the next chord. See that? I'm over exaggerating it now a little bit, just so you can see how I'm keeping those dead notes moving as I'm going to the next chord. Sorry, I played a minor there. Um, it's hard to explain things and play at the same time. Okay, so play around with that. If you've never done it, this is something that's gonna give your playing a lot more dynamics and make it sound much more interesting. So if you're just getting into bar chords, this is a great reason to play them. Because with these open chords, you can't really do that as well. You can't play it as tight, right? Okay, so that's kind of the chord progression. That's what's happening throughout the tune. Play around with that. And now let me teach you this cool little solo. So it starts off on the note D, which is the fifth string, fifth fret. And it does this little walk down. So it's five, five, and then on the same string, eight, seven, five, five, and then a hammer on seven. So, see that? Five, five. So five, five, eight, seven, five, five, and then hammer on seven, okay? For my All Access members, I'm gonna have this tabbed out, don't worry about it. If you wanna become an All Access member, everything that I've ever taught, all the structured courses, are inside the membership and there's a seven day free trial. Okay, you get backing tracks, you get tabs, you get all of my courses, everything in there, okay? So, and then that's just gonna move up here to the fifth fret, fifth, uh, sixth string, okay? So now I'm gonna hit this note two times, and now we're gonna do that same run. Okay, so the only thing that changes is that 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 bass note. Okay, so bam bam up here to the next string, and now we're gonna go down to the third fret, fifth string. Again, everything stays the same. Okay, so bam bam. Then up here is the last thing that changes. Now then notice how this is following the chords. So we're taking that first bass note from the chord. It goes to A minor, right? Or A minor seven, depending on how you want to do it. Then it goes into a C, right? And then it goes into a G. So we're kind of outlining those chords a little bit, right? We're, we're starting on that bass note that the chord starts on, okay? So, then it goes up to the G, and here's where it's slightly different. All right, so now when we get to this G, which is the sixth string third fret, he does something slightly different. So it goes, Three, three, and then a hammer into five. Then down here to the third fret, fifth string. So that's, and then we're gonna go to the fifth fret, fifth string, do a pull off back to three, and end here. So that's, and then it starts over. So really slowly. over. Okay. I'm not sure if he does that exact same lick in there, but that's kind of like what I, you know, kind of improvisationally a little bit came up with. Okay. Do it your way, you know, experiment with these notes, but that sounds really good and really close to me. Okay, so one last time, that little lick, then we're gonna close down this lesson. So check it out.
hope this lesson made sense. I hope you were able to follow along. Again, for my All Access members, I'm going to have some extra goodies in there for you so it's even easier for you to follow along. If you want to become an All Access member, everything that I've ever taught, all of my step-by-step -step courses are in one place and all the extra goodies to my weekly lesson like the one you're watching now are there too. Okay, so it's easier to follow along with the weekly stuff. All right, Henry Olson here. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, all the good stuff. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye.